Okay, now this video, I guess, is sort of for the um, beginner in making, well, house music. Basically, over the recent weeks, months, I've got quite a lot of messages through YouTube saying, how do you get that old school sounding thing on your drums? How do they sound like, you know, that? What is that? And, um, I mean, they're all sort of relatively new producers around, so... Um, is it down to the machines, they say, and all this shit? I mean, I don't really have a lot of time to answer the all of the emails. I don't, you know, I hate writing shit down, um, so just make a video. Um, is it down to the machines? Well, yeah, in a way. Um, basically, the machines that sort of give it that sound, I guess, is the Roland TR-999. Classic drum machine uh, for any sort of style. Music 909s, 808s, um, Google them, look them up. But mainly, I think that's what one of the things that gives you my sound. I mean, instant sort of, I mean, that that is sort of the old sounding thing. If you, you know, that's the 909. Um, and the other thing, apart from the 909 and all that, is, uh, I guess, swing. Swing plays a major part in it. Not just to get it old school sounding, but really jacking. So uh, let me play you a beat with a swing on the drums. This, I mean, that's really groovy. Um, so if I solo you the hi hats, which is swinging, so that's with swing. Now, if I take off the swing, make it straight, totally straight time. And this is what it sounds like without the swing on the hi hats. Pretty lame now to hear everything. It's instantly lost its groove, and I mean that's just taking the swing away from the hi hats. Everything I've got other things that are swung. So uh, if I put it back to swing, so I mean that's the other thing. So that's the swing. You've obviously got the 909, and I mean I don't stick to these machines with the 909 and stuff, you know, don't, there's no rule book to making music, so, um, I mean, just do what sounds right, and the other thing, I guess, seeing as i got this group up here, um, that sort of DJ sneak sound, I mean, that's, it'll be that sort of like 909, and it'll just put like a funk loop on it, so, see what i got, uh, sequences here, pad, so let's, let's pl have a little play around, so I'll start with this, uh, let me just turn the mic off. That's a quick example. That's nothing great there. Don't, you know, it's, it's shit. <laughs> but, um, I mean, that's not going for any effects. That's straight out of the NPC. Now you'll say, oh, I want an NPC. It makes me sound like that. That's, that's bullshit. The machine don't do... It's got, it's got nothing to do with the machine. It's, it's how you use the machine. The machine doesn't 
I could, I could do this in Logic, I could do this in fucking Fruity Loops, you know. Um, why I use the MPC, it's, um, it's, it's really what I'm comfortable with, and I don't just use the MPC, I also use Logic, uh, an old version, funnily enough. I mean, I used Logic on the Mac, the um, Logic 8 and uh, G5, and I didn't, I didn't really like it, I thought they changed too many things for me. Logic 5 and the MPC is perfect the way I run them with the with the other hardware as well, which is which is not in in here. I mean, I just put the MPC for the video purpose only, and I'm running it just out the main out. But um, just just find something you're comfortable with. You know, don't don't really try to copy anyone. Obviously, you can take inspiration from someone, but you know, um, yeah. So find something you're comfortable with, and you know the MPC won't make you great. And if you come from a computer background, you'll probably hate it because <laughs> it's um, well, I don't know, it's a bit old, old-fashioned, styly. Uh, if you get like the classic MPC 2000, not the Excel, it's like you can't load WAV files into it. You have to sample into it and all this shit. So yeah. Probably, I don't know. Yeah, okay, well, I hope you enjoy the video. You probably, I don't know, I'm not great at explaining things, but um, hope you learned something. So, yeah, if you want that, that kind of drum, 909. Also, check out the 808 and all the other old school Rolands, which sound fantastic, but don't just use them because they've, they've been quite over overly used. So, try to use something else, try to use unique sounds. And most of all, <laughs> just just do something, be unique, I know, don't copy everyone. Just find stuff you're comfortable with, work with it, don't use the most expensive stuff, because, funnily enough, the most expensive things, I've, I've, I've never, never got that great results from them, to be honest. Like, um, it's always been the cheap stuff, people have always gone, what? you done that with a, what? Base station and all that? I mean, I started with all hardware, I didn't really use computers, so that's why I'm I'm quite old fashioned with it. It's like I, I, I really can't get sort of can't get with computers other than logic, which I love. Logic five on the PC which is lame but it really works for me and that's the results I get. I you know, so I'm still learning. I still gotta get some other shit but hopefully yeah hopefully you'd like like my video. Yeah. Alright, cheers.